run after a 38 point first quarter, down by as many as 16, and just 21 getting up there in the fourth. What were you guys able to do defensively to get the job done? Uh, trying to make it tough on him, um, take it, make it tough on Drew, who's a, just, I mean, a great player. Make it tough on Bi, who's coming into his own. Make it tough on the rest of them, and uh, just trying to keep our bodies in front of him. I think we put him to the line a little bit too much in the fourth quarter, but you know every shot that, that they were taking in the fourth quarter was highly contested. Uh, besides that JJ Redick one at the, uh, towards the end that he missed, uh, but other than that, they was, it was just you know highly contested. And, Good defensively for us. During the fourth, when AD was announced as questionable to return, you had 16, 2, and 7. You finished with 29, 11, and 5. What dictated the changing gears for you? Uh, this is winning time for me. Uh, fourth quarter, no matter how you know how, how much of a deficit that we're in, you know whatever the game is, um, however the game is going, I believe that. Um, and once I start the fourth, um, I could try to make a push and uh, see what happens. And we got, we got we started that fourth quarter with a quick six over run, made them call a timeout, and we just use that momentum from there. What happened with you and Josh Hart? Is your knee okay? Knee oh oh um, yeah, we went uh, knee to knee. Um, I was trying to cross over his knee, went uh, right on top of my knee. So um, I was able to finish the game. You know, unfortunately, we got to catch on the flight. We got to get on the flight. So. You know, we're going to monitor that, you know, on the flight and uh, monitor tomorrow on Thanksgiving and uh, and uh, see what happens on Friday. LeBron, how, how much did you want to get this win for AD? Uh, that's the only reason I'm here. That's the only reason I came to New Orleans. That makes sense. LeBron, could you get a sense of how much this game meant to AD just throughout the day? Uh, I mean, in the morning we had shoot around and, uh, and then we had team, team breakfast or team brunch. And, uh, you know, we all separated at that point. But then, you know, we, we understood. I mean, anytime you go back to a place where you've made a mark and you've started your career, you've played significant, uh, you played significant minutes and, and gave a lot to the community and gave a lot to the franchise, you want to come back and play well and you want to win. Because at the end of the day, that's what this league is all about. And so we, we knew that as his brothers and we wanted to try to, you know, fulfill that, that, that um, you know, that goal that he has set. What feeling do you have when you see him jump the passing lane and, and get that steal from Drew when they had a chance to, you know, extend the game with that? Ball? Yeah, we're just trying to do our job, man. And, uh, you know, it was my job to try to pressure Drew and out of bounds, try to make it as tough as possible. You know, I was had I had the, the internal clock in my head, and I knew it was getting close to five seconds. So, you know, when I turned around and seen AD had intercepted that pass, I knew uh, pretty much the, the ball game was over. Um, at the end of that, when he was – you know, hugging, hugging people and exchanging jerseys with Drew. Did you see a weight come off AD's shoulders a little bit by getting that one? Uh, yeah. I mean, I think we can. I think he can now. You know, kind of put that behind him. Um, I mean, they still love him here. Listen, you see, you heard a lot of cheers as well. Um, you know, um, so you know, heard some boos. Obviously, some people are going to boo. Some people boo just they don't even know why. It's just because they just want to be part of the spectacle. You know, some people are not even from New Orleans are here for the game and they just be booing. Um, but you heard a lot of cheers tonight for AD as well because they still love him, and I know he still loves the people that he had, you know, that he spent seven years with, you know, that relationship there. So, um, but definitely, you know, he can, he can now move on. I think that's only the only time that we come to New Orleans, so uh, it's great for him. Do you, do you think, I mean, you dealt with a very different reception when you went back to Cleveland that first time. Um, do, you ever, do you think about it like you sort of softened things up for everybody? <laughs> It doesn't matter to me. I, I'm. Uh, I don't mind being uh, in, in front of the bullet for the rest of everybody that comes throughout this league. I'm absolutely okay with that. Um, I, I don't think. Um, you, you don't. You don't know. I mean, you know, things have happened throughout the course of time. It would have to be another. I guess someone that they've been following for a long time in their respective city. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I grew up 30 minutes outside of Cleveland. You know, I was followed since I was like 12 years old. I was on the cover of Sports Illustrated when I was 15 and a half. I get drafted to a city that's 30 minutes away, seven years, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, we know what happened after that. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't mind being the, uh, the, if the first person in line in, in, in the war for everybody else to be able to kind of just, um, you know, it'd be a different, different situation. Last question. Like every night. Yeah. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. She had the last one, but you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What was the story? There's no story. Um, I made eye contact with the kid. I heard him screaming my name a couple of times. I tried to throw on my arm sleeve. It got intercepted. 
by a grown up. <laughs> Try to throw my rubber band to him and got intercepted by a grown up. Um, so um, I, I knew not to throw my shoes because I didn't want those to get intercepted by a grown up. So um, I just made eye contact with the kid. He had my t-shirt on and uh, you know, I'm thankful that he loved the way I play the game. So that's, I gave him my shoes. Last I feel like question now, like, reach a milestone or set a record and tonight 33,000 points uh, goes through your mind. Uh, that's really the last thing on my mind right now, to be honest. Um, I'm kind of exhausted. It's been a long trip. We've been on a, you know, we've been going for a week. I'm just ready to get back to LA, get back to my family. Um, I think I just, I've been blessed to play the game that I love. And um, I've been fortunate to be able to play with great teammates and great coaches and three great organizations um, so far in my, in my career. And um, I just hope that I make uh, anyone that's followed my career proud. And um, every night that I step on the floor, I just try to be the best basketball player I can be um, from a leadership standpoint, from a performance standpoint. Um, you know, for someone that's never seen me play, you know, if they come see me live, I hope they lead the game and be like, you know, I'm happy that I, that I bought those tickets or um, I'm happy someone got me those tickets. So it's just, a, it's just an honor. I'm a kid from Akron, Ohio, that. Um, that was against all odds growing up in inner city. So I hope I inspire um, the next inner city kid that, that grow up the way I grew up and um, and be able to make the most of it. Because um, I'm not really even supposed to be in this in this in this situation. So just trying to make the most of it. That's all. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.